Hi, and welcome to Eskimo TV. I'm talking today to Dr. Elliot Soren. Dr. Soren is a consultant orthopedic surgeon and specialist hand and wrist surgeon at the London Clinic. Hi, Dr. Soren, how are you? Hello, yes, I'm very well. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Dr. Soren, let's talk today about cellulitis. What is cellulitis? Well, cellulitis is a type of skin um, infection when the skin um, itself becomes infected, and this can track um, certainly up and down a limb and can progress, and this um, is a worrying type of infection. And it can occur on the, lim occur on the limbs, on the arms and on the legs, and, and um, it can also occur, occur on the trunk, on the abdomen, but um, classically on the extremities themselves. What are the causes for this condition and risk factors? Well, uh, the risk factors are patients who've got diabetes, patients who are immunosuppressed, they're taking uh, strong medications, uh, the elderly, um, patients um, who, um, who injured themselves, um, a small cut can uh, start this off, a, um, a mosquito bite, um, something quite innocuous can uh, start this uh, progression, uh, patients with skin disorders themselves, patients that have got breaks in the skin anyhow, um, eczema or, or, or weakened skin due to taking steroids, um, thinner skin, they're more likely to get in this. Tell me about some of the signs and symptoms for cellulitis. Well, the classic uh, symptoms and signs are that the skin itself becomes red, it becomes hot, they can get a red patch which um, expands and um, can get bigger and bigger, can be painful, a painful burning feeling along the limb, and in fact, swelling of the limb itself as it involves the um, deeper tissues in the limb. Is cellulitis contagious? It, it's, it, it's, it's not um, actually contagious itself. Um, you can't catch it from being close to a patient with cellulitis, although there are certain types of bacteria um, where they can shed the bacteria onto their sheets and into the area if they're in a hospital room and um, other immunocompromised patients um, should not be in that area. So strictly speaking, um, it's not caught from skin to skin, but it can um, spread throughout a ward due to the management of the patient themselves. So it's a complex uh, issue. What treatment options are available for cellulitis? Well, uh, early on in cellulitis, um, if it's very, very early, then it may just be a matter of having pills and having oral antibiotics. However, once uh, um, this is spreading up a limb, um, particularly um, for me as a hand surgeon, these, these, these infections can spread quite rapidly. So normally um, <clears throat> the patient uh, would be admitted for what's called intravenous antibiotics when they have their antibiotics um, through, a, um, through the vein. Um, <clears throat> and uh, hopefully that should... Uh, solve the problem. However, once other tissue is involved, and if there's an abscess formation or deeper tissue um, is involved, or if in, indeed there's so much swelling of a limb that it's causing uh, pressure on nerves and the possible damage to the muscles, then one may need to operate on the patient to remove inf infected tissue. What's the prognosis for recovery from cellulitis after these treatments? Well, if it's caught, if it's caught early enough, um, then the prognosis is, is, is good. Um, once um, you have complications of the cellulitis itself, once you have um, <clears throat> a compartment syndrome or abscess formation, then the prognosis um, um, it becomes a little bit more complicated and you're treating the complications of the cellulitis itself. But the, the key thing is early treatment and, for, and um, getting on top of it as quickly as possible with the appropriate antibiotic. And just to end off, is it possible to prevent cellulitis? Well, um, one needs to be aware of um, mosquito bites and, uh, and uh, if a bite gets infected, um, to take it seriously and to seek your medical help quickly. Also, patients who are a diabetic um, to um, look after their skin and be aware if they have any infected wounds. Patients on steroid that have thinner skin 
elderly patients, if you're a carer looking after an elderly patient with very thin skin, if they start getting um, cuts and infections in their skin, to take them for, um, to um, receive medical help quicker. It, it's more of an awareness thing of what, what this is and not waiting until the whole limb is swelled up like a balloon um, and is very red and swollen, certainly. Thank you, Dr. Soren. Thank you so much for talking to me today. You're very welcome, Joanne. Thank you.